like this video and enjoy. <laughs> I'm saying if it gives us the option to kick the shit out of him, kick the shit let's out of kick him? the shit out of him. That's fair. But we'll have to wait till we get to that part to explain why we need to kick the shit out of him. Because nope. it won't make con any sense in context now. Nope. Hello, Miss Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. But long enough to watch your sleeping body. <laughs> you haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa? Is she supposed to be a nurse? I can't. T I can't remember. No, I think she's just a random. Like to she's just a singer. Join the yep. dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for. You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take control and get us to destinations. Yeah. The most boring of all driving with no partner. He built sets for Arkeo, one of others. I know. Uh, you might be. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. Which else is cheating on Cole with Jack? I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, we got real cold in here. I just realized you the heater's on. God. Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you uh -huh. want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink. Then they buy you dinner. Then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing mm. shoulders with and some... And that resolution... Citizens. Suddenly it gets tanky. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. <laughs> There's like no focus I'm going to run for DA, and... Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a you month. I get 150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? You think I fell down the stairs? Mm -hmm. Yes, actually. <laughs> I think you did. Okay, bye-bye. You don't love me, lady? Okay, yeah, I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> to the window! To the door! To the trolley! Oh, shit, it's getting away. <laughs> trolley! It's too bad you can't actually get on that. That'd be cool. So should we just skip the driving portion? Yes. Considering Kelso no, says... Nothing happens. Yeah. Nothing fucking happens. He says nothing unless he hits something, and even then he blames the, <laughs> the ethereal gods, which is us. Alright, let's go knock this guy's head in, and uh, for good reason. Mm. After we collect all the clues first. So yeah, before you bust into that certain room... Yep. Make sure you search the impressive room, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. That's fair. Hey, asshole! Remember me? Jack! It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. Oh, well, there's every call for it, bud. Yep. Try to get me killed, and you still manage to be polite about it. 
Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted and the past. Justified box. slap. <clears throat> fuck Bam. yeah. Sit tight. Oh, I'm that's just one around. of many, hopefully. Yeah, please just fuck him over. Or at the very least, bullet? Yes. Hello, what's this? Scroll. Uh, you don't have to read it, just scroll it. Sure, I knew you were in bed with a legion, Curtis. Now I know right. why. What exactly oh, do you expect to, to get find, all of the Jack? stockholders? I need to follow the paper trail. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. All right. Let's figure out why the fuck you want to beat him up. Uh huh. How old are you, Princess? Uh -huh. Sixteen, mister? How old are you really? Nearly thirteen. Yep! Fuck him. Pull Imagine the gun out again. You find it as you get older. Love? You're a fucking That has sickly. nothing to do with love, Curtis. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just it lays doesn't on top matter. And you're twelve. It doesn't He's matter. Gone. You're fucking twelve. He buys me nice things. Shut up. Get you're dressed. twelve. You're leaving. My thing that I find kind of funny, but also horrible, is she's just like he just lays on me. Come back. It's, it's so it's, bad. Horrible. Okay. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. But we are. Hmm. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Which one is it? Uh, pretty sure it was the share certificate. Four thousand shares, at a hundred dollars each, made out to him. That's the bribe. I noticed that the share certificates are in okay. your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they mm -hmm. believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. Underwear just you and your cronies. Yeah. We'll see about that, Jack. See? Tell yeah. me about the suburban well, redevelopment really fund. To be honest, you're talking about the future of Los Angeles. Sure. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. Is you're lying, you? Curtis. Huh? They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? Did you really not see him, like, walk around your fucking house looking Rancho at you? Rancho Escondido burned mm -hmm. to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. There. Why the big payoff for the, the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lickman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. 
What would I know about his choice of building materials? Well, back up. Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> beat it out of Please. you. Please. all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your Ooh, right. is Mark, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California Shoot. isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Can we just shoot him? I wish. God fucking... Can we run him over? Again. Really wish. Uh, can Mostly we just dive a plane into with a 12-year-old. Can we just send out a fucking nuke? nuke? Yes, please. Ugh. Fucking... Ugh. Okay, back to the case file. Unless there's some people who are going to storm our office being like, Hey, what the fuck? He's still got his office, right? So he should be fine. I'm assuming so. I mean, he only just got fired this morning, technically. Yeah, well, it's not like... I'm just going up to my office, Barty. Got to check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Well, you don't see <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, it's... I going to say, yeah, it's my office. Fuck. Yeah. Right next to the gentleman's room. Dude, you got it easy. Yep. So, Curtis. Yeah. What is it you don't want me to see? Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is thirty-five hundred. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? Uh huh. You ever noticed? Need entries. There's got to be more in these files. I think you just need to tap around. Oh, you can't tap around. Okay. There's something else Not in that report. I know it. Something else in the report. Apparently. I know. Oh, 34 go. degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. I have That's a Detective a Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Uh-oh. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more... Direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a P.I. might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before mm. your investigation got me fired. That's fair. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a yes, feeble it attempt. Yes, it is. I said sorry. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields' developments? They're in it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. The fucking music. Stiffing yep. GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? Three. This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. Damn, dude. 
I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> the Hall of Records is the place to start. <laughs> Love how he makes him wait, just like, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Oh, skip that even. Perfect. Oh, is it just Jack this time? I guess so. Yeah. I guess Cole's got to keep up his appearances at Arson. Yeah, and then the Cole's one's going to be the last one. Yeah. Hey! It's been a while since we've been here. Hey, the chandelier's gone. Then again, it's been like a year or two. Oh, yeah, that thing's fucking gone. Yep. Then again, Hello can't there. say I blame him. It was probably a big you need some help there, sir? The land registry yes, office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. Huh. You know what? We actually went to that office. Yeah. We ran into it by accident. We were like, hey, we're here! We're not here. Okay, turn it around. <laughs> Hello. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban okay, Redevelopment Fund. Jump. Certainly, sir. Just this way. I thought you were gonna pull a gun out from the desk. No. Turn the corner. Surprise! Surprise, motherfucker! Yes. Go oh, right was... up. All those suburban sons what, of bitches ought to be listed oh, yeah. in here. Poor cookies! That's fine. Courtney Sheldon. Oh! Courtney. God's sake. What's he got to do with this? That's a very good question. Must be I'd after like information the on thing. a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. Let's come look. Let's go look at a fucking globe, dude. I believe that is in the yeah. Wilshire area. Here. 34 okay, hold degrees. On. 17, it said. Yeah. What was the F last? F58. Uh, 34 degrees. 4 minutes. 29 seconds north, 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. The lot number is 1876988. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here, use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries. Jesus, so lot, much. So divide your lot number by 90,000. Honestly, I love these types of games. One, where eight, it's a lot of seven, stuff. six, nine, eight, eight. Divided One, by 90,000. Yes. Seven, seven six. six. Oh, God, this is the problem with. It's a calculator. Guess. I love it's an adding machine, but it's a, it's a calculator. It's an early stage calculator. I'm just waiting for him to say it again. Yeah. Because I couldn't remember all those fucking numbers. No, same. It's like remembering the length of pi. 1,876,988 really? divided by 90,000. 988. I hate how the way he said it, because I'm like, I prefer the other way, because then I can just visually look at it. Okay, divided by... Divided by 90,000. 1876988. That's 90,000. Yep. Divided by 90, 20. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? 
Let's see what the site is worth to them. Probably nothing. One eight seven six nine eight eight. I was gonna say, please uh, repeat it because I was Randall confused. Jones. Where? Up. Oh. Third one. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing, but how do they pull it off? No oh, fuck. Know why I plumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. You can walk. All right, the talkative one is dead. Oh. Oh, How the fuck you miss like so many shots? Where the fuck is he? Probably behind. Oh, oh. Oh. Weapons on the ground oh. now. Nice, right in the head. Oh, never mind. It's another guy, an extra fella. Is that Benson? Ooh. I'm just headshotting everyone. Well, after you tap them a couple of times on the shoulders. Ooh, Make sure good. you're really dead. Didn't want to listen to the shooting, apparently. Mm. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about I the suburban redevelopment fund. I forget. What is he part of? What are you talking about? Don't How do we know him, me, Courtney? Jack, I swear, because of the I don't know what war. you're talking about. Oh, the doctor. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor... The district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it. But it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial. Something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick Whoa, houses. That was a weird they're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. There's Looks like he's arsons. helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. So is he just a guy we were in the army with? I forgot. Yep. Yeah, he was one of the guys in the army and... Uh, he's getting fucked it? over because he's a poor sap. Yep. His apartment. Ooh, we get to see what his apartment looks like. Oh, Another... we get a threatening phone call? Probably. Ooh, we didn't kill ambulance. Benson when we had the chance. That's was... a really slow-moving ambulance. Yeah, I imagine the roads are kind of slow. That's the second Who's ambulance, asking? though. Oh, it's Monroe. Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe, but I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. 
I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Bring Cole with you. Yeah. Don't go alone. That's probably who he's calling. Probably. I really fucking hope so. Yup. Don't be a dumbass, Jack. Who the fuck did you bring? Oh, that's... I appreciate the help, all of you. Never mind. We can reminisce later. We're his war buddies. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. Oh, These hey. guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. Just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Look at Felix. On the bus. Nice. Hell yeah. I'm surprised he didn't even get Cole involved, though. Well, if he did, Cole would be like, fuck. True. There he is. There's the boy. Whoa. I'm moving, I'm moving. Check your fire. Just uh, give me a minute. Let me recoup. Just let me take a breather. There, we go. <laughs> there he is! Ah! Oh, I shot die. him in the head! I was gonna say, you definitely shot him in the neck, that's for sure. You should have been dead. Oh, we switched guns. It's the receptionist. Oh, shit. You're a very sweet-looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! <sighs> nice fake out. Yep. Oh, shit, never mind. No fake out. I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. <laughs> nope. Monroe, where are you, damn it? In the toilet. Imagine catching him on the pooper. It's like, uh, uh, oh, bad timing. I was supposed to be out there. Uh, you were a little too fast. Uh -oh. Jack Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. <laughs> oh, that's fair. How did you get in here? I'm um, bleeding to death. Get me a shooting? doctor. I thought I had an invitation, so Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. <laughs> that's my second nice. offer. You sadistic bastard. <laughs> yep. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Nice, Jack. Go to his safe. Go to his safe. Ooh. Oh. That's a hell of a payroll. Earl. Not even getting the most. Yeah, Bramlett is Sandler. Oh no, Roy Orso. Earl. Roy Earl. Orso is. Oh, I see. There are multiple times. <laughs> yeah. You got paid like three times. I'm guessing Benson's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, indicated this oh, the narcotics. 
Dr. Fontaine. Yep, Barbara Fontaine. Roy Earl, down yep. the bottom. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. <coughs> yeah, but the distribution. Mm-hmm. Can you stop, like, <laughs> grunting and dying over there, dude? I mean, wouldn't you do the same if you were just shot in the leg, to be fair? True. And but then had it fucking it. crushed. I don't think you want to leave. Really? Oh, I'll leave this side. God, you're a fucking... Just move. Oh, two things. Not far? The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. Fuck no. Nope. You can suffer. He's dead. 100%. They don't even know it yet. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, well, well, what about the manila paper on his desk? Oh, yeah. God. Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. It Stephens? can't be stopped, Council. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Former patient. <laughs> so that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He, he oh, did whatever God. Fontaine asked. He, he had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and, and then he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name. He worked at the bug sprayer. Get me oh. A Even leave on his fucking desk. Opaque. Wow. They had to have taken something. Yeah. Damn, dude. Five stars, bitches. Hey. With zero damage, zero injuries, zero city damage. Up and up. <laughs>